I'm just going to do a short addendum to the PCB making video and uh, this is the IC we made now if you come to core parts and grab a normal IC you'll see it has smaller smaller pins I just used the 2 by one mil pin holes as an example you have to look up the correct one for your application I think these are usually 1.8 with a 0.8 hole or a 0.9 hole but just just remember, the IC was just an example of pin size. Uh, next we come to the IC editing. This is the IC we made here. Look, right click, edit. It works fine. Okay. We pull this one onto the drawing and then we right click and edit. And it doesn't like it. It says our copper layers aren't inside each other, which we know they are from the drawing that's the way we made it. There's some conflict between this drawing and the FZP file of the, of the original file that we took, the IC that we used, and to fix that is too complicated so we'll do this shortcut. We'll close that. We'll look down in core parts for another 16 pin. This looks like one. This one edits fine. Right. We we'll go to PCB view. We'll file. We'll load our original one, which was IC2, the one with the hole in the center. We open that. That's our one with the hole. Now we'll assign the pins. Don't worry about the names. I'll just fast forward this. Okay, we've assigned all our pins. Now we'll save this. We'll call it IC test three. Okay. We come down and check our new part, and it's fine. Uh, this is our updated image on the part that we brought in. It works fine. So it's either you right-click the part on the bin. Put the drawing into a different IC that won't crash that or possibly even just ignore it. The reason why the original core IC part didn't like our drawing is a bit beyond the scope of this course, so we'll either use these patch up methods. Let's now look at auto pin allocation and fritzing. Let's go back to our IC2 drawing. And when we did our load here, here in the last we gave IC, all the pins names we noticed the connections were assigned. Now here, in this drawing, I've changed all the pin pads to pin, and we've called this IC4. And we'll see how this goes with the auto assign. We go back to Fritzing. We go Edit PCB. We'll load our IC2 again. See, none of the pins are assigned. Now we'll load that IC4, the ones where I changed it from pad to pin, IC4, they're all auto-assigned. You can even check them. If you use pin instead of pad, it auto-assigns. Always double-check your pins to the uh, correct assignment. So this is pin 1, make sure it's 1, or 16 there which is a useful thing to know to speed up editing. And this covers all the addendums to the PCB Chapter 5 video.